Welcome back YouTube to another one hour grind series. So today's topic, we're going to be looking at grinding at Bloody Monastery. Uh, so stay tuned for the whole video as I'll be showing and explaining everything you need to know for this spot. So first, you can only access this grind spot through the Elvia server, which how to access that is you'll just go to your main menu and then you'll go to adventure, Elvia realm, and then you'll just go in into the realm. And then the location of Blood and Monastery is right here. Okay. And for the Marty zone, uh, location you probably would want to put your horse kind of right in here the optimal ap range is between uh, 280 to 300 and the dp should be at least 340 and for uh, this video purposes i'm going to do one hour of the marty zone and then show you the results of that but i'll link the the full video of me doing it live somewhere here on the screen all right so real quick i'm just going to show you the rotation of me doing the Marty Realm real quick. Oh, and I wanted to also show you the grinding rotation if you're not in the Marnie realm. All right, welcome back. So let's see what we got in one hour with just using a level two loot scroll first, and then I'll show you what you could potentially expect with around 20,000-ish aggress points, which I did go over a little bit. Uh, this spot is also, just like any other spot, is very class dependent. So using Striker uh, with an Awakening AP at 311 and DP at 390. Some classes are going to be much better at this spot. Uh, but here I'll show you what you can expect. So under the Monster Zone info, these are going to be the drops, right? And again, here's the recommendation. 280 plus, 340 plus. And the drop here, the rare drop for an accessory is going to be the Revived Lunar Necklace, uh, which sells right now for $93 million. And this the market prices will vary. Sometimes this sells for 200 million, so it just kind of depends. Uh, I'll say it is a pretty rare drop, and I've rarely got these, uh, which, believe it or not, my first hour, I did actually get the drop, but I'm not going to include that into the total. Uh, but of course, you got the armor stones, the weapon stones, you have the sealed black magic crystal, the mass of pure magic. The Shard of the Drained Knight, the Seed of Void, the uh, Narc's Lightning, um, Crimson Bell, which produces more mobs for you to fight in order to uh, get more trash. Then there's the Raw Drop of the Trash there, which is at 19,000, and then the Trace of the Battle. Okay. And so for uh, the hour that I did, uh, I got around 10,500 trash there, 80 armor stones, 94 weapon, 13 of the Narc's Lightning, 56 of the Trace Battle, 7 of the Mass Pure Magic, 4 of the Sealed Black Magic Crystal, 4 of the Seed of Voids, only 2 of the Shard of the Drain Knight, and then of course I did, like I said, get that one drop here with the necklace. So 
in total for that hour, this is what I got here. So 380 million, which not really that good compared to other spots, especially like Centaurs, like my last video that I made where you can make at least 700 million in an hour with easy. Uh, so this is kind of disappointing. Now, the reason why you probably would be grinding here anyway is going to be the uh, shards right so grinding these out to get your cups which is why i'm here right now trying to get the uh, ap cup for my earrings here uh, so that's probably going to be the main reason why you're going to be grinding here again is for these but again these numbers can can change depending on if there's a drop rate going on also uh getting the drops where you're able to kind of empower your character right and so that will allow you to kill the mobs faster so depending on how lucky you are to get that this right here will also increase okay and uh, that that buff that you can get can last for about 10 minutes and then you have to wait a certain period uh, in order to get the buff again so uh, i will say that they the buffs do drop pretty frequently but that's that's gonna vary. I, I think I've seen uh, people get like around fifteen, sixteen thousand trash. I've never gotten anywhere close to that. Uh, even with Agris, like twenty thousand Agris, which I'll show you that right now. I did an hour with Agris, and that netted me. Uh, this right here. So I was able to get kind of close to 12,000 trash and use 25,000 agris. Right. But you can kind of tell here that the numbers are about the same in terms of the drops of what I got. Very similar. I did get three more seed of voids here. But you can see I didn't I didn't get any rare drops with the necklace this hour so you know you can maybe get to like 400,000 if you're really pushing the limit I'm sorry 400 million if you're really pushing pushing the limit uh, but there are some videos on YouTube claiming that you can get like 1 billion an hour so again maybe uh, I've never gotten a billion I don't think I've ever gotten like more than 600 million in this spot uh, but it's, I mean it's cool it's a cool spot I, d I wouldn't really recommend it if you're just trying to go for silver, but if you're trying to go for the shards here, then I think it's a good grinding spot. Oh, by the way, I totally forgot to mention that before you start grinding at this spot, you'll want to go and get the Marnie Stones here, and that's going to allow you to get more money per hour or get you closer to getting your cups right so you can get these and once you kill 1300 mobs you can exchange these either for the narcs lighting or the shard of the drain knight and i think for most people if they're grinding here they're going to be grinding for the cups and so they're probably going to exchange it for the shard of the drain knight but essentially to get these you're just going to go to the wacky guy so Wacky Tashi here. Uh, so you can see right here, right? So Wacky Tashi. And uh, the nearest place for you to get this is going to be at Gilsh, which is here. And essentially he's going to be right there, right in that area. So you'll just go there and You'll buy you quite a few of those. You'll kill the mobs. These will fill up, and then you'll just exchange them for whichever uh, item you prefer. I'm curious, though. Uh, let me know down in the comments what uh, your average trash per hour is at this spot and kind of what your average of money per hour um, and what class you play. 
but with that being said, thanks for watching the video. And if you like the content, then please like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.